So if you've been thinking about listing your home for sale and you've been wondering, what should we do to get it ready? What should we do to help it stand out in the market and to give us the best return on our investment? Well, if you watch one video on this topic, this is the one. So stick around and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster, and today we are talking about how to prepare your home for sale. And we're gonna do that by talking about our 4D strategy. And we may throw in a few bonus Ds as well. Okay, D number one stands for detach. And that may seem like a strange word to think about when you're getting ready to sell your home, but bear with me for a minute and I'll explain. When we work with homeowners, and we're counseling them on ways to get ready to sell their home. One of the things that we try to explain is that there's a very big difference between living in and loving your home and making it your own. And then when you're getting ready to sell, to prepare that home to appeal to the widest audience possible. And that is our goal. We want as many people as possible to be interested in your home and to love it as much or if not more than you do so that we get you the best possible price and terms. So it may be necessary for you to detach yourself a bit, and this is a challenge for many homeowners, but to detach yourself a bit from the ownership of the home, to start thinking of the home like it's already someone else's, that you're just preparing it for that person to move in. So that's D number one. D number two stands for declutter. So. This is your opportunity to go all Marie Kondo on your home and evaluate items that you haven't used in six months or more and decide, do we really need this? Do we need to pay someone to pack this up and move this to a new home? The things that you wanna get rid of, all the knickknacks, clear off the countertops, clear off the top of the fridge. Don't forget the basement too. It's not necessarily just a dumping ground. And even if it's an unfinished basement, a whole bunch of clutter in that basement is just gonna make somebody wonder, wow, did they take care of this home? Is there enough room for my stuff in this home? So decluttering, super important. D3 stands for depersonalize. So it's very important for any potential buyers to be able to visualize themselves living in your home. And that's tough to do when there are a bunch of personal photos around, when there are drawings that the kids have made. And while all of those items have a lot of deep personal meaning for you, they don't for the buyers. So make sure that you've stored those away and have them ready for your next home. And D4 stands for deep clean. Pay attention to the details. Make sure there's no grease on the stove top. Make sure that the inside of the microwave is clean, that the inside of the stove is clean. Pay really close attention to the kitchen and the bathrooms. Make sure that you windex the windows and the mirrors. And you may even want to consider paying a professional cleaner to come through. If you have the funds available, it can make a big difference. Okay, and I promised you a few bonus Ds, so don't forget the closets. We're all leading busy lives and sometimes it's tough to keep the house clean and it may be tempting to grab items off of the coffee table and just stuff them in the closet right before the showing. But buyers pay attention to those closets and they open them up so when they come through your home, if they see a bunch of clutter in the closet, they're gonna wonder, don't put that idea in their head and just make sure that your closets are clean. A good rule of thumb is to try to keep one season's worth of clothes in the closet and to organize everything else. All right, and my last bonus D. Many people wonder, should I paint my home? Should I change out the carpet? Should I make other improvements? And the answer, bonus D number six, it depends. And it's going to depend on a number of factors, including, and most especially, what's going on in the market. Now, if you want a great guide on how to prepare your home for sale, we have a wonderful one that we've just put together, and it's filled with tons of information and room by room checklists. So if you wanna get a copy of this, just message us or send an email to brad at homesbyvesta.com and I'll be happy to send it your way. And if you really wanna know what to do with your particular home, you can always schedule one of our 15 minute free consultations where we can come in, take a look around and give you ideas for your specific home to help you get the best return on your investment. Well, I hope this information's been helpful. 
And while you're here, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Let us know what you think of this content or what else you might like us to talk about on an upcoming video. This is Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster. Thanks for watching.